Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and currently I'm pregnant with our second baby girl. My due date is at the beginning of October, but something is telling me that this baby is going to be a little bit earlier than he expects her to be just because a lot of things are going on during this pregnancy and I'm just praying that she comes to me healthy and happy and that I stay healthy after this pregnancy and labor so today's video is going to be my 29th week pregnancy update i just entered into my 30th week so i have a full update for you guys and if you happen to like this type of videos please make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell become a part of my community i would love to have you here and with this being said let's jump into this video so the baby in the 29th week is approximately 38 39 centimeters long which is approximately this big and it is 1200 grams or two and a half pounds these are approximate measurements i don't know the measurements of my baby just because we didn't have any ultrasound done during this past week but i'm guessing she's gonna be approximately those sizes as well still the sizes of a bunny just a little bit bigger bunny than last week but still a bunny so for my baby i can say that her kicks got so much stronger you guys i can already observe it on the surface of my bump i can see when she's rolling right or left and that is so so sweet i have been waiting for that moment for such a long time i remember it from all this pregnancy and i'm so excited uh, to hit that milestone as well where I can see already when she's moving and kicking but I can say that her movements are not as frequent as they used to be and I have two reasons for that one of them is that she does not have much space to move around anymore because obviously she's getting bigger and she does not have much space and the second one is that I cut out the sugar from my diet I told you in my last video and I went really low on my carbs um, so I'm guessing before when I was saying I, I am pregnant with a hyperactive baby it was just because she had sugar shock after every time I ate because I wasn't following any diet before and I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure that was that's another reason why she became so much more relaxed than she used to be and uh, that is actually nice because i was worried back then more that she was kicking so much it was because i was wondering when she was sleeping now i can say that she's a lot more relaxed and peaceful and calm than she used to be the biggest news for this week are not the best news on tuesday i had my big glucose test done which is two hour test and unfortunately i got a phone call yesterday and my doctor said that I have gestational diabetes. So my diagnosis got confirmed, uh, which I was so scared of. But now when I know that I do have diabetes, I made my peace with that. I am comfortable with that. I know approximately what kind of diet I should follow. And I know that these past two weeks when I was struggling with this diet so much were not in vain. Uh, and I'm thankful that I started that early because I'm obviously in the 30th week and obviously it's a little bit late to not it's not late to get diagnosed but like my appointments got cancelled all the time so I probably have this diagnosis for a while now and I just did not know about that so I'm pretty happy that I started dieting a lot earlier just when the first signs came in but I have to say that it was not the easiest time of my life i talked about that in my last video when i just started dieting and it was only one week i cut out all the sugar because this is what you have to do uh, when you are diagnosed with a diabetes gestational diabetes and you have to go low on your carbs this does not mean you are not allowed to eat any carbs because your body still needs carbs but they shouldn't be as much as they used to be i can't tell you any kind of measurement any recipes any tips or advice just because i haven't spoken to a specialist yet and i don't feel comfortable talking about that i just um, made a decision according to the research i made and according to people i talked to who actually did have gestational diabetes 
uh, I just know from their experiences what I am allowed to eat and what I'm not allowed to eat. So this was the diet I was keeping and um, it was really hard for me because especially the beginning when your body does not get sugar and the sugar is going out of your system. I was just shivering, shaking, craving sugar, seeing sugar everywhere and I think that was not even the hardest part. The hardest part was with the carbs because I felt hungry all the time and after filming the video of, for my 28th pregnancy update I started feeling sick. I started feeling so so bad because I could not, I could not just like um, I can't even explain to you I felt like I got an infection so I started shaking, I couldn't keep any body temperature, my body started like playing against me and telling me that it needs the carbs which probably it did not because the, my sugar level apparently jumped too high. So on Sunday I just lost it, I lost it, I was in bed because I was fainting. Uh, I did not feel well, I got diarrhea, I started getting nauseous and I was feeling so bad and I had a small moment out there when I was ready to just get up and eat a pizza and like really pasta and get full but just the thought that I may have a diabetes and I won't help my baby with just breaking, how to say it, losing the control I just decided to stay strong and not to do it just in case because I was like you have only two or three days left till your test and you are strong you're gonna do it but I laid in bed I stayed in bed Sunday I stayed in bed on Monday I was I was not able to do anything you guys I was just able to go to toilet grab a water and then I felt dizzy again and I had to go to bed and sleep uh, I had no control over anything. It does not sound healthy at all, but I'm glad I kept that diet. I stayed strong because on Tuesday well, I had my bigger test and which is, actually the bigger test is two hour test. You have to be hungry uh, before that test. You shouldn't eat anything. The only thing you're allowed to have is water. So that was what I had. I went to my test early in the morning. The nurse drew out some blood to see the initial level of sugar in my blood. And after that, I got this uh, glucose solution, which is 50 grams of solution in 200 milligrams of water. Imagine a glass of water. I had to take it on an empty stomach. And now the picture. A pregnant lady who didn't eat anything just got that disgusting solution and something about German houses, you have to know we don't have air conditioner, it's mid of July and uh, the rooms here in Germany, like you see in our house, it is for German standards, it's a big apartment, but I'm guessing for my audience who lives in America, this is small, but in Germany everything is small, the rooms are small, the houses are small, streets are small, cars are small, everything is small. So I had to wait for two hours in a small waiting room full of people without air conditioning and the sun just shining directly into the room and I had to wear a mask because the mask now is like a must uh, in Germany. You have to wear a mask in public spaces. So the first half an hour was okay. I was doing fine and then I started feeling bad again. I started feeling nauseous. I started feeling dizzy everything started swimming in front of my eyes and I just kept praying that my nurse comes out and calls my name which she did <laughs> after an hour like after one hour was up but at that point I was almost about to faint and I was so happy she called me I told them that I wasn't feeling fine so they uh, set me in the chair, drew out my blood and asked me to keep my eyes open because obviously I couldn't even keep my eyes open and they told me I will feel even worse if I close my eyes. They found a place for me to lay down for 10 minutes till the next patient came then they removed me to another room to another chair then another room to another chair so I spent in the like another one hour feeling horrible. I couldn't walk Myself, myself I needed help because I was fainting almost and they checked on my blood pressure and it was so low and my nurse was like 
Oh, you weren't kidding, you're really dying. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm dying here, I can't keep up anymore. But she had to draw a blood after one hour, taking the glucose solution and after two hours to see how the sugar behaves in my blood. She did her job, I am so thankful to her for her help because she was so kind and caring and she kept talking to me and she uh, talked to me about the diabetes and I kind of got relaxed because she was so positive and like calm about the whole situation and she told me just to go home and eat something I'm going to be fine the baby is going to be fine there is nothing going on with the baby so I came home I ate and I started feeling better yesterday I got a phone call actually she called me the nurse and she told me that unfortunately uh, it got confirmed and I have to uh, search for a I don't know the real name in English, but it's diabetologist, probably a person who specializes in diabetes. So we can just now, to, so we can just come up with a diet plan for me. I don't need insulin shots, she said, because it's still not that high. So I won't, I will need insulin shots, but it all depends from my diet. If I won't diet now, or I won't keep my diet, I won't stick to my diet, I may end up uh, needing insulin so I have to take my diet seriously so yesterday I spent the whole day calling specialists around the place I live and no one has a place for me either they don't have a place or they didn't pick up the phone I'm a little bit confused <laughs> how it is going to be but I hope on Monday I will start like I will find someone who will just take me into their practice and we will go through this and the only the other thing is that my doctor like my gynecologist to whom I go for this pregnancy she is not allowed to give me any advice like in Germany she can give me advice only on her branch but she's not allowed to give me any advice on anything else I am sure she knows perfectly what I have to do during the diabetes in case I end up not finding any specialist or um, you know but she's not allowed according to the rule which I understand but it is hard you guys so uh, now I have to get a special I think special thing where I have to check my blood three times a day and see how my blood sugar reacts on different kinds of food but I still haven't talked to anyone I still don't know anything about that really so I don't want to talk about that during this video the only thing I want to say that I uh, now accepted my new situation I, I really accepted it so it's my new lifestyle and I'm still thankful to my body <laughs> you know for like I know I have to say it I was so pissed off at myself when I was feeling so bad I even cried I normally never cry but I cried this time I was like my body is not allowing me to enjoy this pregnancy and it is making so much harder for me and for the baby and I had such a mom guilt towards my baby because I thought she may suffer a lot of course because of me which my nurse the Hebama told me that she is not suffering at all I have to just I can have a peaceful mind about her she's doing perfectly fine and I shouldn't have any guilt but I can't uh, I have to say I felt so guilty and at my, one moment I was so pissed off at my body you know all that I had really hard pregnancy this time I never thought it would be this hard but it was and now I just realized that instead of being pissed off at myself I have to be grateful because I have put my body through so many things throughout these years and of course uh, it had to come up with something I have still I, ha I still have to be thankful that it's just a diabetes and not something even worse because now it's just like food that I have to the diet that I have to deal with and I just love my baby so much and that I'm ready to do anything I told you in this in last video as well like what is a diet in comparison to this life that I'm growing inside myself and I have to give myself credit I have to give my body a credit and just be thankful that I am pregnant I am pregnant and my baby's doing fine 
just <laughs> I'm asking you guys to pray for me and for this baby because now there is a risk that she may or we have to get her out earlier because she can be too big for my body or to for the labor or there are so many complications that may come I just hope that it will be fine for me I think this was pretty much everything I wanted to talk about in this video I am sorry I understand that my thoughts were all over the place and I hope you understood something <laughs> From this video because I am that like I am still not myself I'm not still I'm not feeling myself yet but I will get better I will get used to everything I am very positive and I'm sure everything is going to be fine so now let me show you my bump so guys here is the bump for 29th week here's the bump from the side here is the bump from the front they're getting bigger and bigger and here is the bump from the other side mm -hmm. so that was my bump you guys for 29th week week's pregnancy thank you so so much for your patience for your understanding for your love and support i get every single time in the comment section it means the world to me you guys you have no idea how much joy and support it brings me to read through your comments like you give me you send me so much love and your prayers mean everything to me thank you so so much for taking your time and watching this video through i wish you all wonderful weekends because it's saturday now stay healthy and safe and i will see you in my next video bye